So if you travel a lot for work, it can be really hard to fit in your saxophone practice. But what about if you travel abroad for work and then because of COVID, you've been stuck abroad for like two years? Well, today I want to tell you a story about one of our sax school members called Lloyd, who's found himself in exactly that situation. He lives in South Africa, but he works in China. And for the last couple of years, he's been stuck in his apartment in Penang, and he's used his spare time to practice saxophone, and he's made incredible progress. In fact, Lloyd is our student of the month for December, and the videos and the recordings he's making are fantastic. So I had to find out more about him. And in today's lesson, I want to share with you a couple of things that I found out after talking to Lloyd about the way he's using Sax School to really make amazing progress. So stick around. This is really interesting stuff. <laughs> G'day guys, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Hey, thanks again for joining me and uh, watching the video. And you know what? Your comments and your likes really, really help me to know that the stuff that I'm making for you on the channel here are helping you and also to know what sort of videos that you like. So please do keep doing those, those comments and those likes. They make my day. Also, just a couple other quick things before we get stuck in. Uh, just a reminder that we've made all of our free content for you super easy for you to get hold of. We've stuck everything that we give away inside one place. It's called our Sax School Locker. There's a link down below there where you can register for Locker. It's free and it's a great way for you to organize all the free stuff that we've got uh, for you in one place. And as I'm filming this too, we're running our 14 day trial for Sax School. So if you're ready to take things a bit further and you wanna get stuck in with the 14 day trial, then look for the link down below here as well. It's a great way for you to come and see what we're doing at Sax School uh, and uh, dip your toe in the water. See if all the thousands of lessons and the masterclasses and the support from our tutors and all those sorts of things are what you'd like to do. Speaking of 14 day trials though, it was exactly that that Lloyd that we're talking about today used to get started with Sax School about 18 months ago. So Lloyd, wow, what a cool guy. So he's got a little bit of background in music. He did a bit of piano when he was younger and then got busy with life and kids and all that sort of stuff. But when he found himself stuck in Penang for this last period because of COVID, uh, he decided to get back in a saxophone and went and found a Yamaha saxophone in his local music shop and then got stuck in learning it. And thankfully, he found Sax School and he started learning with our resources. And I wanted to know from him right out the gate, what was the one thing that really made Sax School help him to make this amazing progress? Now, we do this challenge inside Sax School, which I think is awesome, but Lloyd kind of takes it a little bit further than most people. Check this out. I don't know whether it was an intelligent or a stupid thing, but then I started playing, you know, that 30 day challenge that you've got in the school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I started that and I like got to the end of my 30 days and I thought, yeah, that's, I'll keep going. So I just kept going. And you know, to this day, I am still every single day. I have not dropped yeah. one day. I played Christmas. I played not that the neighbors like it. In fact, I think they've left, but I play <laughs> literally just all the time. I, I get in about, average about three hours a day and then i weekends i also play probably a lot more than that oh man i love that okay so there's the first takeaway from this student success story lloyd is really focused on consistent regular practice i mean he's taking things to an extreme here but he's been actually practicing every single day since he joined sax school 18 months and he's doing a lot too like three hours a day which is pretty amazing now, the next thing I wanted to ask Lloyd about is what really impresses me about the recordings that he's been making and sharing inside our member area uh, are really well-polished, like well-rounded pieces. And he's really digging into the technique and thinking about the musicality of the pieces. All the stuff we talk about in sax school, but he's really following through with it. So I wanted to find out how he was approaching his practice so that he could make really good detailed progress like this. First of all, I try to take things that are difficult um, because I know that I'll, I'll learn something from it. Um, when I say that, I didn't know what I was walking into when I, I picked up Lily was here. I think all of our students kind of do the same thing. Oh, that sounds good. And you grab Lily was here until you get kind of onto page two. I think it's bar 44. And then it's like, oh boy, what have I got myself into here? Oh, that's this bit. <laughs> And it was there that I actually learned. 
you know, you could play something over and over and over again, and you're just not making progress. And then I actually said to myself, okay, what does a mad person do? A mad person keeps doing the same thing continually and just doesn't go anywhere with it. So I was like, stop, think about what you're doing. So I actually just changed my articulation. I, I slowed it down. I always slowed, slowed down in my door. And then I changed the way that I actually articulate. And I found straight away, hold on, there's the answer. Um, Night Train was the same. There's one section in there that you play. And I always, I always play with, with either yourself or um, the other artist or somebody in the background. So I've got somebody to follow. Okay. Once I've got it right, then I drop it out of the door and then I play it by myself. So another great tip in there, Lloyd is using his computer to record himself and then listening back to those recordings to help him understand what's going on, to help him to learn things more quickly. But he's actually taking things a step further. So inside SAC School, we are always talking with our members about recording yourself, making videos, making recordings. We've got a super active community where our members are sharing recordings of themselves and getting loads of feedback. It's such a great way to learn quickly. But what Lloyd is doing is taking that a step further and he's using well on his he's on a pc so he's using reaper whereas on a mac you might use logic pro or garage band so it's all of these are digital audio workstations they're pieces of software that you use to manipulate audio he's using reaper on his pc to listen back to those recordings but also to slow things down and speed things up and he's got some other tips as well check this out but i use my door a lot and i use it also as a very good visual reference because you can also look at you can look at the waveforms and you can actually put markers in where your waveforms and you can also if you're not sure of a rhythm or a beat especially if you're trying to do a jazz section where a lot of stuff is off beat all the time then what I'll do is I'll stretch the waveform right out and then I'll drop markers in so that when I play it and I then look back at it I can always see what's going on I actually can play my computer better than I can play my saxophone because I just like play replay 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 delete play again play again yeah. I I mean I can play one bar or two bars over a hundred times that repeat process that you have on on any of the doors where you can actually highlight a section of what you want to play and you just put it on loop play 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 when you when you've got it right you yep. start bringing the speed up and you just keep playing it and playing it and playing it until you get it to where you need it to be then you start recording it i play through the speaker and then once i've got it right then i want to start recording then i kind of put my headphones on off i go my son's actually doing um sound engineering at the moment oh wow but you you know what it's like trying to get help from uh, your own children it's like yeah. nothing you know it's like <laughs> yeah dad you know what he says saxophone's the hardest thing to record i'm like yeah and uh, help he says yeah yeah <laughs> oh man i love hearing these stories back from our students it's really fantastic now the other thing i wanted to ask lloyd about was he's actually on our accelerator program that's our high level personal one-to-one -one coaching program that we offer at sac school where the students or uh, there's a bunch of them that are on the program they all get to work one-on-one -on -one with one of our tutors and we've got students at all different levels um, and they're all working toward different goals as well but i wanted to know how lloyd was enjoying that the accelerator program and how it was helping him check this out so we should just say you're on the accelerator program yeah absolutely and chris is your tutor on that yeah. program how have you found that experience yeah. he's excellent i mean he's got the patience of job that guy i don't know where he finds it and I, i've never come across anybody who can clap sing wiggle do 101 things all at the same time to try and get his point across we actually, we said in that we were talking in the school the other day, we've got to get him dancing on the table if uh, by the end of the year. But it's excellent. I mean, I wouldn't, I, there's no ways I would have been able to make the, the progress that I've made by just going it on my own. Because you pick up bad habits when you're doing it completely on your own. I mean, the school, the school is great. And there is so much in there. But I think that's also where I kind of got stuck. I don't know if you remember, I, I mean, I was doing a lot of technical work for about four months before I actually wrote to you because I think everybody gets the same stage. What do I do next? What should I be practicing? When do I move on? So, and then I wrote to you and you said to me, hold five, we've got this program coming out. So of course, as soon as it came out, I joined it. And then from there, I literally just found what I was doing, just awesome. it accelerated, it really did. I really, awesome. really went forwards very quickly. So, and I know all the other students as well, you know, cause I chat to like Andy and Bev and that we kind of chat on the side as well a little bit. Okay, we all find 
the um, the accelerate program really 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 useful yeah. and that's one of the reasons i actually i was looking around and i mean you know there's a lot of other competitors out there um that kind of have so-called schools and tutors and things as well but nobody actually had the individual tuition that that the, that you guys offer now that is flexible i mean to just have a lesson to be able you know uh, i mean if you and i if you're going to be teaching me for example or chris was going to be teaching me and we didn't have this online backwards and forwards that we do i mean i'd have one lesson a week and i mean it would be in the middle of the night like it is now it's not ideal so yeah. it works very well it's a very flexible um program and it does it works very very well Man, there's just so much good stuff in that conversation with Lloyd. He's a really interesting guy and making amazing progress. Look, there's five main takeaways, I think, from that conversation with Lloyd today. And first thing is consistent practice. That is a big key. Now, you don't need to be as crazy as Lloyd and do three hours a day, but practicing regularly and having a clear schedule is so important for making good progress. The other thing is to be systematic in the way that you're practicing. So slowing things down, looking at the details and really digging deep as you're learning a piece of music, it helps to make your progress faster because you're refining all the lumps in your playing. The third thing is using tools to help you with your practicing. So Lloyd talks about using a door, a digital audio workstation, but even just recording yourself on your iPhone and listening back, it's so good for your progress. Um, fourth thing is community. The community thing has really helped with Lloyd. He talked a lot in that interview about how being connected with the other members inside sax school helped keep him on track and also the process of recording to then share in the community and get feedback was such a boost for him and kept him on track particularly when he's learning remotely and the fifth thing is for lloyd our accelerator program the one-to-one -one coaching aspect really helped to accelerate his progress and i think that's a massive contributor toward the amazing progress he's made in such a short period of time so even if you're not a sax school member, I hope that's been helpful to you and you can apply some of those things into your practice today. It's gonna to make a massive difference to you as well. But of course, if you really wanna dig in deep and get the sort of benefits that Lloyd has had, then you can come and check us out at sax school too and get involved with all the things we're doing. Don't forget, there's a 14 day trial down there. And if you are a sax school member, you can watch the whole uh, of that session with Lloyd. We talked for about 40 minutes actually. Lloyd is our student of the month for December. We're very proud of his progress and the full interview with him is inside the sax school member area. Well, that's it for today, but there's so much stuff inside the uh, the channel here, other lessons on the channel to help you. So please go and explore all of those, whether you're interested in improvising or learning the blues or just developing your, your tone or your finger skills, all of those things. Um, there's lessons to get you started on it inside our channel. And if you want to really go a lot further, come and see what we're doing over at Sax School too. Whatever you're doing though, keep practicing hard. I'll catch you next time. Good on you, Lloyd. Well, thanks, Nigel. It's thanks been nice much. to talk to you. And I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, the next videos that you keep putting out. I'll go check out. There's a new one. one. You can go and see there's a new jazz one waiting for your white Christmas. I'm going there right now. All right. All right. Good on you, Lloyd. Cheers. Bye. Thanks, Nigel. Bye-bye. Cheers.